Hello and welcome to another video from the Brew series. Tonight we are playing a Gigs combo deck from the online uh, player Chaos deck. I will link you the deck list as every time in the description of the video. And on the first look, it looks like a black aggro deck, but it has a complex combo in the main deck to go infinite and finish the game. And the combination is you need some amount of the jet medallions, which is making your black spells cost one less. Then you need some, at least, yeah, I, need, I think two priests of gigs are enough because you will pay two mana for that. It enters the battlefield, it grants you three mana. And with this three mana, you can cast a recurring nightmare for two mana just only due to the jet medallion. And then you can return another priest of gigs in your graveyard. And this will net you more and more mana. At the end of the day, if you have some Phyrexian Ragers in your graveyard or in your hand, uh, or some Grave Diggers to recure some creatures, you can draw through your deck to some amount, because you will lose one life every time. And then you will finish the, uh, the game off with a Highway Robber, which will you can uh, loop a lot of times because you will generate X mana first, and then you will drain for infinite. Yeah, besides that, the deck is playing the playset of carrion feeders to sacrifice creatures. A small cool interaction is with the mesmeric fiend. Because if you put the first trigger on stack first and then sacrifice it before it resolves, it, the card will stay exiled. And besides that, you got some Cabal Therapy, some Mishra's Factories so, to apply some pressure, and a card like Bad Moon to make more damage. Two Bone Shredder and four Fierce Enragers are rounding the deck up. So this will help us get rid of creatures like probably Meddling Mage or things from reanimator and on the sideboard we got some amount of torment script to handle graveyard interaction uh, one of Tsao's web versus utility lands three bottle gnomes against slide they are not great on their own but uh, you can recure them with recurring nightmare and this might be enough to win a game against slide mm, besides that two contagion which I think it's a pretty underplayed card for now. Two Ravenous Reds to get ahead of um, value-based matchups. And three Engineered Plagues and two Diabolic Edict. So let's dive, it, dive in into our first game. Alright, we are on the draw here, but that's a decent hand for that. It's In this spot it's nicer to be on the draw. Of course, maybe we can have a hit with Carbide Therapy. If we were on the play and named Lightly card, we probably won't hit with it. Okay, Mother of Runes. So I think I will name... Good question. Exalted Angel, probably. Maybe Silver Knight. I name Exalted Angel because we do not have a fast hand here and this will outclass us very quickly. Yeah, we had a hit here. He has Prohibit up next turn, which is pretty bad for us. But maybe he plays a Wayfarer without dropping another land. Okay, this is nice. I don't want to play the Mesmeric Fiend into the Prohibit or No. More the Festering Goblin here. I think he will counter this, because it's pretty good with buyback and then, or after attacking. 
Okay, no counter for that. The mother can protect herself, so I will ship the turn back. Okay, this was great for us. Him not spending his mana while we deploy this threat. Okay, the wafer is here. He still has the counter mana up, so land would be great. Hmm. He will probably counter this. So I think I attack here with the goblin first. Okay, and then... Karma therapy. We are stuck on two lands, which is pretty bad for us. Uh, here I want to go for the Wayfarer. And if we give protection and we have another removal spell, we get the Mother of Runes, which is a stronger threat there. So let's see if he prohibits. Yes. Okay, but now we get the mesmeric field so here if we would have another land it would be pretty strong bone trailer for mother of roots but yeah all the lands we are missing he has on his side so regarding on his top decks and ours it will be a pretty interesting game yeah this was a great one i don't know i need to take a look here So Jet Medallion is pretty strong draw, but let me take a look if our combo wins. Yeah, our combo can still win uh, through Warship, because it's not damage, it's life loss. It's great that the Wayfarer isn't live. Okay, Priest of Geeks, this is fine. Play this. So maybe Recurring Nightmare, but we can't combo off with it yet. So let me get the Rager first. Hopefully we draw lead. Okay, Mana League, that's a great draw. Bad Moon is still decent, but no attacks here. He can, ju he can just uh, activate Core Haven. Okay, next turn. Yeah, that's not super strong. Still no mana so i think best thing we can do is to play recurring nightmare exchange the priest maybe if i take with this okay he will probably just fog otherwise we could have made a small combination there Okay, still no mana. Turn six with one extra draw. That's tough. Next turn we can make a small combination with playing Nightmare for two, ramping up to three. Okay, Factory, it's a mana source. Okay, what do I want to do? It's not time yet for a Bone Shredder, so I think I will play the Nightmare. Get back Priest of Gigs, 3 mana, so we can play the Nightmare two more times. But I might go into the White. 
with the Rager here. Or we could have continued a bit more, probably. Okay, another Swamp, it's great. And now I probably want to get down the Nightmare. Exchange the Rager with Priest of Gigs. Second Jet Medallion would be great. Yeah, here it is. So next turn will be a strong combo turn. Maybe we can start bone shreddering his threats. Another Jet Medallion. So let's try to see the raw power of the deck now. Okay, hopefully he has no counter spell for the recurring nightmare. Ah, yes. Lucky you. Okay, this is a problem. One mana left. I think I will attack with these two. And regarding on his reaction, if he wants to give. As it was said, maybe I needed to play around this mana league, but on the other hand, we lost uh, like four land drops. Okay, I want to get rid of the Wayfarer. Okay, no blocks. One fog here. I don't think I got anything if I try to bone shredder now. Nope, I skipped the turn. Yeah, losing the recurring nightmare there, I just wanted to show you the combi. Because it's so cool. Mm, this really hurts. Okay, Cabal Therapy, uh, we'll absolutely play this. Naming Standstill, I guess. Palaka Waste Wasteland, okay. Starting out pretty badly, but we are lost so many land drops. Um, we could play one of the Grave Diggers, which should be fine. Grave Digger returning a Festering Goblin. And now I need to think if I want to attack again and trade one of these. So one get, will get fogged, the other will be traded, and I think it's fine for me. It's fun to see the, the raw power of the one of Bad Moon. Yeah, that's fine for me. A bit risky, because I could just drop a land and then flash back Cabal Therapy and this will die. So I'm wondering a bit about this play. Okay. Next time we can play Bone Shredder plus Festering Goblin. This is very nice. Okay, Waterfront Dancer. So we still know one Wasteland in his hand. Okay, this is our win option, but we need to hide it for a bit longer. So here I would like to... I think I attack first with everything. If he blocks like this, this will die, which is not great for us. So I think I will just attack with these. Ah, 
I'm not scared of the waterfront bouncer. I mean, it's best for him if he bounces something on this his side, because all of our threats have a enter the battlefield effect. Okay, no block. What do I want to do then? I think I need to get rid of the mother of runes first. So play bone shredder here. He knows about the festering goblin, so he probably won't. But if he does not secure his creature, it's fine for me. Because we do not need to sacrifice it right. And uh, maybe I want another jet medallion. But Gravedigger enters, uh, will add three more damage to the board. And I really hope to just attack. He will taps out and then we drain the last point of life with a Prince of Gigs, uh, with a Highway Robber. And this is flying. So I probably want to keep this around for much longer. But if I want to keep this around, I can't make the highway robber route. Okay, good thing is that he has a threat to play, probably Exalted Angel as a morph creature. Hardcast. Okay, this is hard to beat. So it was bad. It was a great top deck here. A bit bad that I Played. So let me think about this. If we attack with everything, he needs to do a lot of blocking. But after that, he's. Yeah, I won't pay for this. I hope he falls for this, mm -hmm. not having Highway Robber on his ra radar. But this was a huge top deck here. Carrion Feeder. Okay, let me play this for one. The carrion feeder is great because I can sacrifice the creature he blocked and he won't get life. So I'll get this down, two more mana, another jet miller young here. Or festering goblin, festering goblin is better. We need two mana for highway robber. Okay. Question is, do I want to sacrifice it now? And I think I want. And I want to sacrifice it to give the waterfront bouncer minus two, minus two, minus one, minus one. Because if he wants it to survive, he needs to tap the mother. I think he's feeling pretty confident there. And then we will get him with the highway robber and win through warship and exalted angel and mother of runes. Yeah, this is a great game. Absolutely what I signed up for. Okay, zero cards in hand, so no cover therapy here. Attack with all creatures, bringing him to one through the warship. Okay, now we need to sacrifice this to prevent him gaining four life. And then I think we got the game. Because he is at one. And we play the highway robber for two mana. And we win the game. Yeah, this was great. Okay, I think we have some great draws. Xavos Web is sweet. Um, 
engineered pack is sweet. Edict might, might be too narrow. I'm not sure what we can cut because we want to have some of this combination. Factories are not great against his wastelands. I think Mesmeric Fiend is a bit weak. Okay, maybe some cut some one offs here. The goblin does not seem great, and so does the carrion feeder. I'm not sure if the edict is the right thing to do. I don't think so, because he has, has so many low ground creatures. And maybe one recurring nightmare. Because we will probably see some amount of graveyard hate. Yeah, the angels are tough to beat. This is fine. We have a turn one and turn two play. Hopefully draw a third land. It's nice that we have something to do if he plays Turn to standstill. Okay, I won't play the carbide therapy here because I want to get a. He might have a sorts of process for the goblin. Okay, meddling mage. <clears throat> this is strong because we do not have uh, many ways to get rid of it. Third land is fine, but second recurring nightmare is not great. And I think I will keep this at home, cause he can't attack then. If I block, I can take it with me. Okay, here's counter mana up now. So I think first thing to do is to play the priest. If he wants to counter this, it's fine for me. Otherwise, I will try to resolve a nightmare. Okay, this is absolutely fine for me. Next turn, we are doing the same. Morph creature? Yes, this is strong. This will give us trouble, so we need really good top decks. Okay, one, two, three. Ah, oh, this is just two, but it's fine. I want to spend it anyway. Okay, and I want to use the time frame here to resolve both recurring nightmares. Just for the case, if he has a removal spell, the goblin can attack now. So if he flips this and he attacks, he don't have mana up to counter. Okay, sort on that. No flip. So we need a bone shredder. Bone Shredder would do us a great favor here. Let's bring this down. But it's not great in this spot. Okay, Disenchant, a Waterfront Bouncer. Let's get the Waterfront Bouncer. And I want to attack with the Priest, I guess. Yeah. Yeah, we really need a Bone Shredder fast. Flip Angel. I 
uh, factory is not great. Because we will lose the damage race. Yeah, but we do have some pretty great draws from Bone Shredder to Rick Simulator. And we can even play it through counter mana. Because we can recure it. Okay, Rage is great. Let's start with the Rager here. Plague is strong. Two mana plague. I mean, do I want to attack first? Not sure. Let me try to get the plague down. Okay. Here I want to call Merfolk. Then I want to attack with both of these. Yes. I mean, he still has a disenchant. I'm not sure if he wants to make a free block or if it, if he's fine to exchange the mana, uh, the life points there with his own exalted angel. He probably will go for the jet medallion or the plague. Oh, this is strong. Fact of fiction. So we can have Exalted Angel is too strong. Maybe like this. It's strong that he named uh, Carbon Therapy and we have no possibility to get rid of our creatures. Yeah, this is close to unwinnable now. Okay, second power therapy from top was too much for us. Okay, I think I might need more of this again. Engineered Plague is probably too bad for three mana because you will often just get one creature with it. Yeah, this seems fine. It's really hard to beat the deck, because even the meddling mage can just stop our whole ball rolling. This could answer a meddling mage. Yeah, let's see. We went pretty well in the first game. So we have potential in the matchup. To win it but there are so many strong cards against us okay this is a keep i will just lead with a factory it's a lot of land but it's i think it's keepable due to the fact that i have two factories they are great against the standstill plan and against meddling mages against Mother of Runes. And even if he has one or two Wastelands, we are still in the game. Okay. Um, I will land the second factory, because if he had another Wasteland, I'm hoping that he will have less than three lands. 
and we wouldn't have any effect if we slow roll this because he has just his wastelands for our four factories so they will be dead to any wasteland and okay now i will play the jet medallion giving him the opportunity to play Disenchant in his own turn. Then I can follow up with Rager. Otherwise we can do double spell next turn. Meddling Mage is fine for me. Six cards in hand is a lot. Okay, this is a great draw, but I think I have to play Rager first. Another nightmare. So my follow up is uh, uh, maybe I want to play around days. So pitch one nightmare here, play a mesmeric fiend. And here absolutely want to get the fact of fiction out of his hand. I mean he can return it sooner or later with his waterfront bouncer, but it's pretty mana and card intense. Okay, factory as a potential blocker. But I'm willing to trade this against the Rager. Okay, he might have drawn a mana leak, but I don't think we are in the position for waiting. So if he has it, he has it. Otherwise, okay, no mana leak here. Play Karen Feeder. Um Yeah. I think I need to play it like this. Sacrifice the fiend. He will get fact of fiction back. And then I exchange fiend for the rager, keeping priority. I don't know why this didn't work. Normally if you play control and you get priority, then you can sacrifice it in response. But today it was not possible. Otherwise we have gotten rid of the factor fiction forever. Of course you have the exile effect first and now he will have the ability to cast it in between. But have they changed it? Normally it's like here, control to hold priority. Don't know. Stands to okay. You do this or bone shredder is fine. Probably more later, but mm. okay. We can cast. He just have colorless mana up. If we attack and we sacrifice this. We get the factory. Okay, let's try it again. Recure Nightmare. He can draw three cards. Let press control. Sacrifice this. Okay, it's not working. I don't know why. But I try to do it again. Um, okay, I need to sacrifice this now, which is pretty bad, so I have to take this route. 
No, it's working. I don't know what's going on here, but it's Magic Online. There's a surprise every day. Another Bone Shredder, not great. So get down the Recurring Nightmare again. Exchange Fiend with Rager. And here I want to take Fact of Fiction again. I hope he plays some amount of creatures. Okay. It's not a great target for another standstill. Okay. Yeah, that might be a bit too much to beat. Priest of Gigs could be fine. Let's try to start with Bone Shredder here. Yeah, his deck is attacking on too many angles for us to beat. Here's the answer for our Manlands plus. Okay, here I want to try to go for the Q Nightmare. It's probably Mana League, but we have no chance against eight cards here anyway. Okay, I can ship one damage in one more time. Loss of God. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. And probably another standstill. Ah, oh, yeah, that's too much for us. Cracking it immediately. This is odd. Ah, okay. I understand. Okay, get down. Priest of Geeks. Nightmare is a pretty dead card. Uh, very strong showing of his deck. Very controllish in the pre-sided, uh, post-sided games. And with the Core Haven. We can take a look at some more draws, but... The problem is that besides the Phyrex and Rages, the deck is completely missing of card advantage. Yeah, and we are done. What a great match. Thanks for watching. What's your opinion on the deck? So, this was really a fun match. Especially game one was awesome to, to win through a resolved warship with this board state. And I think uh, this deck is great, has a lot of potential, and it's showing uh, the raw power of the medallions in pre one I'm tinkering around with the mono blue list for a longer time, which is a control deck where I want to try out the blue medallion. And yeah, it's a very fun combo. You play some cards you never seen before in the format for a long time. And um, what I think it's mostly missing is a better way to generate card advantage. I'm not a huge fan of the carrion feeders in the list not sure why they are in and i think even the festering goblin is a bit too cute but i think that there is some potential to um, get rid of these eight cards here and then add a playset of dark ritual and perixen arena uh, it's a bit more controlish then but they are not great on their own these creatures I mean, they are cheap fodder for cover therapy later. 
And I was missing some amount of duels in the complete deck. But all in all, very cool list. Nice to see it in action. And yeah, I would be interested what what's your opinion on the deck? How do you like the combination of the infinite loop? And yeah, please write it in the comment section. See you soon.